Yuma, and welcome to the Adventures of Russell the Canberra series. In this episode, we're checking out the National Film and Sound Archive. The National Film and Sound Archive, or the NFSA for short, has its origins in 1935 as the National Historical Film and Speaking Record Library as part of the National Library of Australia. By 1984, however, the National Film and Sound Archive had outgrown the National Library. So on the 3rd of October, the then Prime Minister Bob Hawke opened their new headquarters in the old Australian Institute of Anatomy building in Acton which, between 1931 to 1984, was home to the anatomy collection of Sir Colin Mackenzie, which included Farlap's heart and Ned Kelly's skull. Designed by Walter Hayward Morris, the building is often described as an Art Deco building, but is more in line with late 20th century stripped classical architecture. By 1999, the archive had grown so much that extensions were built. In June 2004, the building was entered into the Commonwealth Heritage List. The National Film and Sound Archive is a living archive of over 3 million items covering everything from movies, TV and radio, scripts, posters, oral histories, costumes, phonograph cylinders and wire recordings, just to name a few things. In September 2019, they announced the start of Video Game Archival, with eight games being chosen spanning 40 years of Australian video game history. The NFSA is more than just an archive. They also act as a museum and host exhibitions regularly. In recent years, the National Film and Sound Archive have hosted the Heath Ledger, a Life and Pictures exhibition, the Dressmaker Costume exhibition, and my personal favourite, Game Masters, the exhibition. If exhibitions aren't your thing, then maybe you would like to check out the ARC Cinema. Built in August 2007, the state-of-the-art 250-seat cinema cost $2 million to build, with $250,000 being spent on projecting equipment that can play films of any format. Due to the building's heritage status, the cinema had to be built in a way that would not damage or alter the building. If you'd like to visit the National Film and Sound Archive, it is open between 10am and 4pm daily, except Christmas Day and New Year's Day. Entry is free, but exhibitions and screenings may have a fee. Check the website for details. With new items being added and restored every day, the National Film and Sound Archive will continue to be Australia's living archive for generations to come. And who knows, maybe even my content will end up in there one day. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to like, comment and share. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button.